if you're taking this Series 7, you're absolutely going to want to hear this. What's been showing up on the 7 now, it's been for a while, but I've been hearing a lot more, is a reverse merger. What the fuck is a reverse merger? Let's get into it. So normally, a company wants to go public, they go through the IPO, they hire the investment bankers, all that bullshit takes a while, a lot of regulatory oversight and all that, but they get money. That's the best part, they get cash. What if a small private company doesn't need the cash right away, but they still want to go public? So they can do instead a reverse merger. A reverse merger is when a small or a private company takes over a publicly traded company. It's not gonna be like taking over Gillette or IBM, but one of the smaller companies that are publicly traded, they're out there, maybe they're a shell company, maybe they don't have a lot of operations, something like that, and it helps both out. So what'll happen is this small private company will usually buy at least 51% of this public company. And then they flip out the shares, they swap them with each other. And so now the small private company is a wholly owned subsidiary of the public key trading company. Boom, they're now public. Now remember, they're not getting money, right? So it's not like an IPO where they're raising money and getting cash. There's no money changing hands on this. Well, maybe under the table, but not not it's not publicly so why would a company do this because it shortens the time like an ipo could take three four five six months to go through all the the regulatory hoops and loops and whatever you want to call it you have to go through all that shit this could do you could do this in weeks you could find a company do the reverse merge you could have it done in probably four or five weeks a lot less time again you're not getting money for it but you are now public so some of the advantages, you don't need a, boom, son. Okay, um, you don't need an investment bank. There's, it's, gonna, it's gonna cost less than doing it. It's gonna be quicker. And we don't need mark conditions to be good to do this, right? Because like right now when the market was crashing, maybe a month ago, it was very hard to do an IPO because why? Because nobody's gonna fucking buy your shares. This, you don't care, you're buying them. Maybe it actually helps if it's deflated. So again, wrapping up, reverse merger is when a private company buys a public company and then swaps out the shares, become a subsidiary of the public company, and they're not public. And the reason we do it is it's cheaper and quicker.